Vlogs. What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna be the first person with a Huracan to pull a trailer. What's going on right now is my truck's in the shop. So, only car I have outside of my truck is the Huracan. So, we're gonna see. I'm gonna be the first one. You'll see. Stay tuned. You gotta stay working. Stay working. I get like five hours of sleep every day. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Oh. I got business in uh, Arizona. Gotcha. And, uh, here. And instead of paying Airbnb, I might as well pay myself. Yeah. So that's the plan. I'm gonna pay myself. I'm tired of spending three grand a month Heck on, yeah. on an Airbnb. Y'all got a cup holder up there? Yeah, yeah. got you, bro. Appreciate it. No, I get that, man. I I'm just trying to be people. smart with my money. I don't. I, I spend money, but I don't spend money like I want to spend money on myself. I want to pay myself. Back. It'd be yours. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're paying it off. It's a lot cheaper too. You're yeah, saving a bunch of money. So I already know but, how to drive trailers. So I own a dumpster, uh, rental company. Oh, gotcha. Some other stuff too. But, yeah, I'm just trying to be smart with money. That's all. Yeah, if you're spending three, four grand on Airbnbs, it's gonna cost you five, six hundred bucks. Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, I got a lot of like travel nurses and stuff. Uh, and they get per diems. Okay. And it's like the same thing. It's like, why spend three, four grand on hotels and stuff like that when you can spend five, six hundred bucks on a trailer? Right. And then you're paying it off at the same right. time. It's becoming yours. Right. How long does these last? Like, what's. So like, the lifespan? Yeah, lifespan, yeah. So on fifth mills, when they're fiberglass like this, usually 15, 25 years. That's why they give you the long duration. Yeah, that's why they give you that long of a loan. So you take good care of it, and you do the maintenance and all that stuff, 15, 25 years Okay. All right, so here's the first option. It's brand new. Uh, this is a Cougar Sport. Uh, this hits everything. But it's a smaller option. Okay. It's got the taller ceilings, right? It does, for the most part. So the bedroom's going to be the only cabo. The bedroom's going to be the only uh, the only caveat, because this is called a mid-profile fifth bill. So it doesn't have the uh, the split frame that gives you the tall bedroom ceilings. But besides that, you're walking around great. <laughs> Check the bump beds for the kids. You the so this is like there. 31 foot roughly, okay. total length. And this is the gooseneck, right? Yep, exactly. I mean, fifth wheel. Foot, yeah, yeah, gooseneck, fifth wheel, you got it. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm tall, that's why I'm trying to get taller ones. <laughs> yep. That's the only thing, but it's just the bedroom, right? Yeah. Now this guy's brand new, two ACs, four seasons, so it's designed for Arizona weather. Okay. Uh, and we're sitting at right now forty-seven. Okay. Brand new. Brand new. This turns into. A That's a bed as well, and then this is a bed too. That's a okay. trifold. Okay. Yeah. So how many people comfortably can? Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Eight people? Yeah. Or four beds. Yeah, four, four beds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Five if you include the... the and this is the smallest one you have on the list? Smallest we're going to see. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Smallest we're going to see. As far as fit wheels. If we see a trailer, it's going to be smaller. Smaller. Yeah. Because this is 32, all live-in space. Uh, your trailers will be a little smaller. Okay. Let's check something out a little bigger. Let's do it. Yeah. So we're trying to get something taller. Because I'm tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, this has everything and more. Okay. So, again, four season. Now, this is a drop frame, so full size. You have the taller ceiling in the bedroom. Uh, but not only that, you have two bathrooms. Yeah. Or a fireplace? Yep. So, this is going to be more like 700 bucks a month, 10% okay. down. But, uh, yeah, you get a lot look more. At, look, this is nice. Yeah, you get a lot more. How big is this bed up top? Yeah, that's a queen. Queen? Yep. And then they have a bathroom too. So you have two bathrooms, uh, two full bedrooms, uh, and then in the bedroom you're your taller ceilings too. I like this. <laughs> cool. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it's a go. <laughs> yeah. Storage space in here. Yeah, yeah lots of it. This is washer dryer prepped also. So living in it's not a problem. Okay. This one. Man, you can actually see in there. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. And what's, how long 
is this one? So this is 41. 41. Yeah, so quite a bit bigger. The only things that get bigger than this are going to be the toy haulers, and they, you know, a lot more in price. King bed? King bed! And then washer, dryer, prep in the bedroom. So it's in the closets there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, they'll go on the sides. I think I found the match. I like this one. <laughs> I like it, for sure. Heck yeah. Best one yet. Alright. Yeah. Four season, residential appliances, two ACs. Everything's set so up to plug and play. What's the warranty on the ACs and like all the other Yeah, so, so a standard warranty, and this is across the board, any manufacturer you look at. Right. One year on everything. Okay. A three year structural, so it's on your sidewalls and framing. Okay. Uh, 15 year on the roof, roughly, 12 to 15. Seven on the floor. Okay. Uh, then all of your appliances are usually one to three. One to three. Okay, so okay. your slide boxes, all of that's three years. Uh, and then your appliances are typically one to three. Okay. Now you can get extended warranty if you want to. Right. Uh, but that's just your, your base. Right. And then as far as the tank, does that cover? Because I know yeah, there's yeah, issues yeah. on the tank. So that'd be your three years as well. Three years as well. Mm -hmm. And you have, I forgot what you said, you have to empty it out a lot or something. If you're storing it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you're storing it, like you're not going to be in it for the winter and right. it's going to drop below you know, freezing, then you want to uh, winterize it. Okay. It's like pump it in a freezing. All right. So what's the, like what's that. the yearly maintenance on these? Yeah. So we cover, we do an annual inspection for free the first year. Okay. Uh, after that, you, I mean, there's, you got to grease your slides every six months. You got to check the seals on the roof every year. Okay. Um, that's kind of it. You can pay us to do a couple hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. I like this one. <laughs> for sure. It's a lot of, a lot of space. A lot of space. Let's check the next one. But yeah, so the annual inspection, basically we look through the whole coach, uh, find out what needs attention to, and then we'll fix it at that time. Okay. All right. What about the, what is all this? This is your storage, man. So fifth wheel, you're getting a lot, lot bigger storage as well. Uh, so compared to your travel trailers, where you're only getting like pockets or whatever that thing. Right. Much bigger, TV prep. Now this has auto leveling jacks on it. Uh, so to compare it to the last one, the last one had electric leveling. Okay. Or not even leveling, electric jacks. Right. It'll hold the button down, and then those jacks go down. Okay. But you have to look at a, a bubble level to determine See, man, how much more. Mm -hmm. Not this one. So this one, you just push a button, and it does it all for you. Okay. So right here is your uh, leveling panel. Okay. So yeah, you just hit the auto level button. It does it, every it does it all. It does it all. It makes it so easy. Electric and gas water heater. Pretty much hits the budget. Okay. But, uh, but it's very different than what we've seen. Okay. Let's start over here. 60K. Can I level pull it? <laughs> Again, two baths. You don't get the real bed, but that's a bed, that's a bed, that's a bed. So you got three beds, single beds. <laughs> yeah. All right, two entries, yeah. two points. Now that's the guest bathroom. Okay. Yeah, you got the master over here. Right. <laughs> this turns into a bed too? Yep. So this sleeps more. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess the same. All right, yeah. it's just it's different. different, yeah. yeah. Now this is used. Used does not come with a warranty. Okay. That's the big difference. Used don't come with warranties. No, okay. Now we guarantee everything at time of delivery. So we go through everything, make sure everything works. We do a walkthrough with you, show you everything working. No warranty after that though. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing we don't touch on used is cosmetic items. Right. Where a new one, we would be fixing everything. Okay. Because it's brand new. So, so there's no warranty on the tanks and stuff like that? Nothing. Not unless you buy one. Gotcha. What's the common issues with, with these travel trailers? Um, let me think. Probably the tank or No, not unit? even. It takes years for the tank to, to usually do something bad. Um, it'll be fittings on like your hoses, I guess. Okay. Um, slides don't really have any problems. Awnings have problems. 
Oh, usually, okay. usually it's a uh, use of error though. <laughs> Those are just some of the things that, uh, that I've seen in the past. Okay. The awning gets torn off right. it's down the road because you forgot to put it in. Okay. <laughs> okay. So things like that. Fridges, those can be expensive. Those go out sometimes. Cause Not custom size or? Uh, cause they're an RV fridge, so it runs off propane actually. Okay. Uh, and then it switches to electric when you're uh, when you're plugged in. Gotcha. The propane side, uh, cause it's using propane to, to, to cool it, gets faulty sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Um, do, do but I need these have, you I need to put some solar to these. So they don't. Yeah, a lot of them don't come with it. The, the last one's prepped for it. Okay. This one's prepped for it, but only for a portable panel. Okay. So you kind of like buy a panel, set it up, and plug it in. The other ones will be on the... Yeah, prepped for the roof. And can you ride those? Can you... You have to take those down, or they're stationary? No, like... you can mount them up on there, and they're fixed, so they stay up there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, solar doesn't do much on a trailer. No? No. So a solar only charges your batteries. Okay. That's it, your 12-volt batteries. Okay. Now, 12-volt only runs, like, your lights, your slides. Right. Uh, basically, like, the basic things on the trailer, kind of okay. like a car. Right, okay? right, right. Uh, You have two systems. You have 12-volt, and then you have 110, which is like a house. Right. 110 is going to be the AC. Uh, your outlets, okay. Uh, kind of uh, your fireplace, your microwave, those bigger, bigger wattage things. Okay. Uh, and for that, you have to be plugged into a generator, okay. or at a park or a house or right. something like so that. So solar is not strong enough to run the whole thing. No, no. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, there are some solar setups, like twelve hundred watt setups that you can buy right. with like ten or fifteen grand right. to, to do them. Okay. They're only strong enough to run one AC for mm -hmm. about six to eight hours. Gotcha. Yeah, and a lot of these have two ACs to keep it cool in right. Arizona, right? Right, yeah. So the better way is a gen, uh, or be plugged in at a house or at a property, have power going there and plug it in that way. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not saying you can't do a solar setup. You can. It's just, it's not going to run the ACs for very long. Right. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. All right. You said there's one more? Yeah, I got one more. Yeah, just as a little refresher. Let me see the next one. You can remember what this one's like. Huh? Ah, oh, you're good, man. It's just a travel, travel lock. That's all it is. Holds it when it's uh when you're driving. The best part I like is. Yeah. No, that comes out. Yeah, I know. Okay. But, yeah, man. That's huge. We got the, got the phones. There's spots for two TVs in there. Or against the walls? Yeah, so one's on the wall to your right, on the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, it's behind you. Oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, right here? Yeah. And then the other one uh, is lower for the bottom bed. Here, okay. Yeah. So it's, they can watch whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, the TV can go here. And then you got one in the bedroom up front too. TV up here, and then TV. There's just so many TVs. Yeah. 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 Got two TVs, two different things <laughs> on. Oh, yeah, you can see the, the hookup right here. Yeah, so when there's a hookup, there's a mounting place to stick them out. Okay. And then we got to go through it just like I was talking about on the used one. So we go through everything. We do 120 point inspection. This is new though, right? Brand new. Okay. But we still go through it. Oh, yeah, yeah. When, uh, when they get here, because they're, they're hand assembled, they're not always done perfectly. Right. So, and, and so before you take it, we go through everything, 120 point inspection. We fix everything, cosmetic features as well. So okay. if the cabinet's broken or something, it's getting replaced, it's getting fixed. Okay. okay. Then uh, you come back in on your appointment date where we do a walkthrough with you. Okay. One to three hours to plan to be here for a little while. Okay. Where we teach you everything and show you how everything works. Okay. Okay. Only after that you sign. Okay. okay. Then That's you can take the rig that day. Uh, we can deliver it. Okay. Uh, you can store it here up to 90 days as well. Gotcha. Yeah, that's all. And this is 43 stuff. feet, right? Total. Total. I gotta measure that thing. I'm on. Your spot? Yeah. Uh, so, let me give you an exact. It's probably like 42 or 41. This thing looks better than some houses in here. I know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. 
this. I like this, this one. I like this one. Forty nice foot, thing. exactly. Forty foot, exactly. Yeah, I have to measure that space with the house. Well, we can hold it for you too. Like if you need to build onto that space or whatever, we can hold it for up to nine days. Ninety days. Yeah. Okay. After you purchase it. Yeah. All right. I'll, I definitely like this one for sure. What? What's the price point on this one? 64. 64. Yeah. So you spend five more grand and you get that big one. This is it? See if I can pull. Yeah, let me put the slide out. Oh, right. there you go. <laughs> well, this, is, this is a lot for for 60. Yeah, no. It's I mean, it's not a lot the, for 60. The other one. It's the full size Cougar. That Tandera is a. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking, I was like, looking around, I'm like, I saw the door. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, no. Makes sense now. Yeah, because at first I saw it. I saw it was all over this. <laughs> I think the Lambo can pull this one. Do you think the Lambo can pull it? I think so. I think so. You think a Lambo can pull it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like the the second one. It's more space, and like you said, five more grand, you can get what you want. And I don't have to be like bingo. Walking. Yeah, bingo. But this is the new way America's going RVs. Dude, tell me about it, bro. This is the new way. This is like so many people getting out of their houses and going into these things. I I mean, it's like uh, yeah. same. it is, and they can go anywhere. Right. And that's the cool part. When I'm coming back from Arizona, I see a bunch of people in the, like, off grid just in these. Yep. All right, so on the tent there, you want to see numbers and look at the payment and all that good stuff? Let's check it out. Let's see. What's your favorite? Right here.